Hello, everybody, and welcome to Open EXO Live. So great to be with you today. Today, we have Eric Patel of Boston EXO and many other things that we're going to chat about. As you can see on the screen, we've got an amazing lineup of people coming up in the next few weeks. And so, as is customary, before we get going, I'm going to just share with you some uh, words from our Open EXO community about Eric. So we'll start with this one, which comes from uh, Anne Butello. And she just says, I met Eric when lockdowns across the globe were first announced. We used to have a bi-monthly call to share our stories, challenges, and deepen our bond. I say this because he did this with like minds he wanted to work with and create with. He made the time and was and was consistent. When much of the world was caving in, this uh, was a friend who was choosing expansion by continuously growing through knowledge, extending compassion and people. He's down to earth, tuned in leader who wants to create a better world with like-minded people. And he's doing it just that, uh, and he's doing it just that through Boston EXO and friends. Next is from Lars. And he just says, our Open EXO community is being joined by many fantastic people. One of the fastest to ad adopt the mindset of abundance and begin practicing the methodologies is Eric. He is diligent, been seeking to maximize his learning about the opportunities of transforming the world, and he walks the talk. We then have from Karina, Eric is an exceptional person. I had the luck of meeting him in 2020 and share several projects with him. He's an excellent leader, visionary, with a lot of energy to do things, and most importantly, a great heart. Next, from Olga, uh, Eric Patel is an innovative leader who has embraced OpenEXO's MTP with a passion for collaborating on a number of projects in the community. His vision for cultivating an exponential mindset in the youth through different training programs from Boston EXO makes his job a pivotal element to work for a better future. And next we have uh, from Jimbo, uh, a compassionate and sensitive leader who delivers great results. Eric knows how to create a safe space for people to ask and answer tough questions required when it comes to exponential transformation. I look forward to further collaborating with Eric in 2021 and beyond and encourage all watching to connect and collaborate with him. And then last up, we have uh, from Paula, Eric's passion to make a difference in the world is unbelievable. The way he leads us at Boston EXO is outstanding. He is an example of a servant and transformational leader. He develops an inspiring vision of the future, motivating people to deliver on this. He acknowledges other people's perspectives, giving them the support they need, involving them in decision-making processes and building a sense of community within the team members and other stakeholders that result in a strong team culture, boosting people, experimentation, and innova innovation. He is also a super doer with a strong technical and business background. I, always, I will always be grateful to Eric for his inspiration, support, positivity, enthusiasm and generosity. And there were quite a few others who had really good things to say about Eric. So Eric, welcome to Open EXO Live. How are you doing today in Boston? Thanks a lot, Kevin. And thank you to everybody for your kind words. I am just completely humbled. That's awesome, Eric. And we always start the conversation by asking, Give us a bit of background about you. Uh, tell us your story and and how you came to be a part of the Open EXO community. Uh, sure. That, so thanks, Kevin, for having me today. So I think like many others, I've been in this IT QA software world for many, many years. And I recently came to learn about Open EXO probably towards the fall of 2019. And it was through leaders like Salim Ismail and Peter Diamantes and Singularity University and, of course, OpenEXO. And one of the first things I did was obtain 
the EXL Foundations certification. And then yeah. kind of a quiet period, you know, went by and wasn't really doing a whole lot. And of course, you know, with all the changes and impacts that we've all had, especially during 2020 because of the pandemic, this really propelled me into a direction to continue on with my education with OpenEXL and obtaining additional certifications. And of course, forming Boston EXL and most importantly, meeting all the incredible people throughout the world who I've met, you know, since then. Absolutely. So you, you, you mentioned forming Boston EXO. So 2020, of course, uh, uh, you know, difficult year. Um, you, you know, in the midst of a pandemic, you, you've pulled together a team of people across the globe, um, you know, a great advisory board. Um, tell us a little bit about how things went last year and what's sort of shaping up in, in, in 2021. Yeah, it really was unlike, I think, any other year that maybe I've had or that perhaps uh, you've had as well. And so I think in the midst of all the studying and learning and just trying to better myself, I decided to kind of take and be inspired by Exponential Organizations, the book, and pull together a group of people literally from around the world who wanted to help companies thrive through continuous business model innovation. And this could be through existing business models or new business models that are gonna be created. You know, as I always mm -hmm. say, unless you're the company Zildjian and you've been making drum cymbals for 400 years, your business model is probably gonna change at some point. And so was really grateful to pull together a team and shortly thereafter, you know, we launched a an internship. And from there, it's really just been almost nonstop, I think, like many people within this community. So just really grateful to have a great core team, as well as a trusted board of advisors who we've built and a number of partners that also have been doing business with us. Awesome. And and you 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 mentioned the the, the internship program. You had was it about 30 odd sort of high schoolers and 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 college students. Um and really, it, it 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 went so well, um, you know, and and it's something that so many community members uh, commend you on, especially around the youth and building up our future. And so, you know, how do you think we should be investing in our youth, really allowing them to to navigate the the world that that is ahead of us? Yeah, I, I totally agree. You know, after pulling together the core team for Boston EXO, really trying to help people within my circle and expanding that and really just asking the question, what are students doing during the summer of 2020? And the answer really, especially here in the States, was not a whole lot. So we quickly mobilized and said, what can we do to help the youth? And the answer that we came to was an internship. Hmm. And we opened it up, like you said, to high school and college students from around the world. I think we did something like nine countries, eight time zones. We did it all in real time over the course of 10 weeks. We, we went through the 10 week EXO sprint. They helped us with a number of projects and we sort of joked internally based on all the work that they did, it was sort of like two and a half internships, which is an amazing effort from everybody. And again, thank you to everybody who helped us with that internship. And I think as we all know, like the youth, there are our future. And now that everybody has known for a while now, technology changing and advancing at the sp speed and pace that I don't even think we can even keep up with. You know, exponential, 10X, unicorns, right? And so we wanna really just embrace that and, and really just help people with a mindset change. You know, our massive transformative purpose at Boston EXO is global exponential mindset transformation. So we're starting with the individual. Mm. And even that shift from a linear to an exponential mindset or even a scarcity to an abundant mindset is not easy to do, especially mm -hmm. here where I'm from in corporate America, where everybody, most people are still kind of thinking in old, perhaps outdated ways. And, you know, for companies to thrive in the coming years, they are going to have to have a mindset shift. Absolutely. And, and so in, in terms of the internship, what is it looking like for 2021? Right. So, you know, we're just building on, I think, the great success and um, achievements that we had with our internship. And what we'd like to do is continue the good work that's happened. Uh, we've since rebranded it. We're now calling it an EXO masterclass. And we are certainly going to focus on exponential technologies like what we did last summer 
the 10 week EXO sprint. We're also going to incorporate a new element of business idea testing. This is something that we've pioneered within Boston EXO. We do this ourselves internally. And this is about experimentation, lowering risk. You know, the days of perhaps getting an MBA and writing a business plan and hoping all goes well, perhaps are outdated and certainly numbered. These days, you know, reducing risk, doing things iteratively, being agile, and a lot of the other best practices and frameworks that are out there are just absolutely important and critical these days to do. So with that, we want to definitely encourage a spirit and a culture of experimentation. And we do that not only internally at Boston EXO, but for our clients as well. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Nikki, Nikki has, has just asked, you know, so you've knocked it out the park. Uh, what do you suggest uh, other entrepreneurs do to sort of model that, that, that success? I mean, I, it actually ties up very closely to the question I was going to ask now, which is around, you know, being an EXO, right? Um, you know, Boston EXO is driving to be an EXO, looking at, at, at EXO attributes and, and folks you're working with to do exactly the same. So what would you say other entrepreneurs should be doing to, 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 to mimic this, to, to look to build an, an, an EXO? Absolutely. So the good news is that the blueprint is already in, of course, the Exponential Organizations book. It's chapter six. And so this is one of our internal Boston EXO objectives and key results in OKR to become an exponential organization ourselves. And just beyond that, like there are a lot of great entrepreneurship startup best practices that really have evolved over the years. I think the good work that we did over at Purpose Alliance with the Purpose Launchpad is a perfect example of that, using kind of the best of breed methodologies, not necessarily inventing anything too brand new, but repackaging things in a way that makes a lot more sense and leveraging really all the good work from various individuals, organizations, and methodologies over the years. So, you know, if you are starting out, whether it's just you or you yourself and a partner or you're forming together a small core team, the good news is that there are lots of resources out there. The hard part is knowing which ones to use and how to leverage that. So ourselves at Boston EXL, like we most definitely don't have all the answers and we are continuing to learn but we're definitely forging ahead and pushing ahead and really nothing is holding us back not the economy not government not even a pandemic so they say if you can function and thrive in bad times imagine what you'll be in good times absolutely 100 percent. and and can you can you share a little bit about about boston exo labs Sure. So along with these lines and the thinking and the requests from our customers and clients and really the community is how can we help entrepreneurs? Myself being an entrepreneur years, decades prior to Boston Excel with other companies I founded and started up, our core team members with side hustles and other endeavors that they're working with, it's in our blood, you know, and so we want to help others also thrive, become exponential, and learn how to start a business and not be the over 50%, at least here in the States, that will still fail after four years. You know, that's not gonna be us. Our business model is definitely different. We have a different way of thinking. We talked about mindset earlier. And I think the persistence and the culture that we've created can also be replicated. So through Boston Excel Labs, we wanna help other entrepreneurs. And we're doing that in a number of ways, including helping with a lot of startup acceleration, as well as incubation tasks. Uh, we, we're working with teams literally, again, from around the world, whether they be student organizations, uh, singlepreneurs, or even entire companies, with business coaching, with mentoring, with startup knowledge and know-how, and really just trying to leverage what we've learned at Boston EXO so we could share that knowledge with them as well. That's perfect. That's great. Now, now Eric, of course, you you are, a, a, a I guess, a man of many hats. You Someone who... I, I would guess likes to, a lot of variety uh, with with within your life and and so not only are you are you are you running uh, Boston EXO but you're also uh, within the uh, EXO community and the uh, uh, EXO economy you've you've taken on a a, a project coordinator role there um, can you share like why what you look to do in the in the coming months around the EXO community together with the EXO economy. 
So this is a really exciting role and I'm looking forward to working with folks like yourself and Nikki and the rest of the team to really help grow OpenEXO, advance some of their goals and objectives for the year and beyond, and really just sort of be the conduit between the different groups. I think it leverages a lot of my strengths, including project management and agility and facilitation. And I'm a people person. And so, you know, as I mentioned, 2020 for me, even though there were some difficulties and some setbacks, the best part was meeting all the people from literally around the world. It's yeah. it's mind boggling how much uh, my network has grown. And so to kind of continue that, to involve more people in the community, to engage the community so that we really can do the work we need to do within sort of this exponential landscape space. So looking forward to working with a number of projects with OpenEXO and the community members enhancing um, you know, the EXO economy, of course, through the EXO's token and working on just a number of other initiatives that are brought by community members. So again, we would sort of encourage people to visit openexo.com to make contributions, to contribute, right? Whether you're looking for help on a business venture or you yourself have something to offer because at the end of the day, we all have talents and skills that really can shine. Absolutely. I mean, we 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 have so many amazing people with within the OpenEXO community, and and it's allowing uh, people to to be out there to be le leveraged in in a good way. Uh, you know, in 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 that we we really can be be making this sort of one plus one is three uh, type type of situation, right? Uh, where 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 we're all adding on top of one another, and now. Another thing I've noticed, uh, I, I, I was checking out your LinkedIn, and I noticed a bunch of videos of pictures and when I do, uh, you on Zoom all the time. Uh, I thought I lived in Zoom land, but I think, Eric, you take the cake. And I noticed a, a bunch of things talking about Regenerate 21. Can you, can you explain uh, to everyone watching what that's all about? Sure. So this is something that I originally was going to do just for myself during the Christmas holiday. I think like many of you, we try to be better in different ways. And so focus on personal development, personal success, self-improvement is really important. You know, we have this expression, you need to put your oxygen mask on first, right? How can you possibly help others and serve others if you're not quite firing on all cylinders? Yeah. So I put together this, which was originally gonna be a five day program, narrowed it down to four days, basically about two hours a day or so. And it covers like a 2020 recap baselining, level setting, where are you today, really? Like honest assessments. Day two is more about kind of walking through the fire, getting uncomfortable, getting out of your comfort zone, dealing with issues and challenges that really you've been maybe procrastinating, putting off. And day three was about best practices, tools and techniques, learning from one another. And finally, day four, doing some 2021 planning and, and goal setting and learning about habits and mindset and OKRs. And then I just asked the question, would anybody else be interested in doing this? And come to find out, people were. And we've run a number of cohorts already. We're looking to do more. And I think people realize, you know, whether it's just last year, the COVID, the pandemic, or maybe just a complete absence of focusing on yourself and making yourself better, like there's a huge need for this. And there are lots of other great people doing stuff out there, right? There's no shortage of books and audio programs and courses you can take and all that. And I think, like I said, I originally wanted to do something for me and really just make sure I got my story straight for 2021 and come to find out that, you know, I think people really like kind of like the two hours a day format, a little bit of homework, and it's less about kind of teaching and slides and me pushing. And it's really about people sort of pulling from them internally and getting answers to their questions. I mean, there's a fair amount of journaling we do. There's a fair amount of sharing as well in real time. And I think that has surprised a lot of people, especially after all the Zoom calls and you know, maybe not wanting to turn your camera on anymore, much less sharing about yourself. And you know what? People are opening up and they are literally regenerating. And I hope that I can use this kind of a boot camp and workshop as a springboard for a much better 2021. Wow, uh, Eric, that's that really is amazing. You know, I m my personal MTP which is unlocking positive human potential, the one thing I've I've been looking at 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 at, at in quite quite in depth is the fact that so many people don't necessarily have have their own sort of personal dashboard. Understanding 
you know, what it is, you know, they doing what they need to do, where they are having sort of personal OKRs, for example. Um, and and I think that that's perhaps quite quite a bit of, of, of the issue that, that we see in the world is that, you know, people don't necessarily even know where they are or where they should be going. And, and, and so something like this really uh, super interesting for me um, and, and, you know, ha having people who, who, who can sort of hold you to account, I guess, as well, is, is, is a big part of it. Absolutely, right? Accountability is, I mean, I think we all have a sense of what we would like to do. It's just a question of how far off are we of that? Right, whether it's career, family, friends, the community, you know, like we all have goals, and and you know, it it's a struggle, right? And it's been a real serious struggle for the world, especially over the last you know 10, 12 months or so, and who knows what twenty twenty one is going to bring. But I think you know we talked earlier about the mindset, right? The abundance mindset, and the exponential mindset and really just getting your thoughts and your head straight. I, we really believe that kind of starts there, whether you do it at the personal level, at the team level, at the company level. And I think once you get that going, you know, there's certainly no shortage of tools and techniques out there. So I've kind of just curated uh, information for people to use. And like you said, it's, it's sometimes it's just motivation. I mean, even just getting a coach, you know, if somebody would have told me years ago, you need to get a coach, and if I was convinced of that, I can only think how my life would be better and different and maybe more advanced nowadays, right? And it's true, like we all need help in some form or another. And this is just one way how, you know, I'm contributing, I think, to to a hopefully a better future for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah, Eric, it's it really is amazing. Now, as I did say, I, I've seen you on so many Zooms um, with uh, so many baseball caps. Um, <laughs> Is 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 that the key to uh, to surviving Zoom? <laughs> so I think what you're referring to is uh, kind of the brand that I've uh, adopted, right? Uh, the company is called Black Clover USA out of Utah here in the states, and it's the brand. It's actually a golf hat, which is bizarre because one, I don't play golf, and B, I usually don't wear baseball caps. So at some point last fall, I decided to do that, kind of take that on, and. And uh, it's actually the, the same brand that uh, some of you may know, Tony Robbins, he uses as well. And I think when you see the four leaf clover, you think, oh, it's all about luck and good fortune, and all that. And it is. But I think for him, as well as for me, it's actually more about gratitude and thanks. And again, despite everything that's happened last year, I personally have a lot to be thankful for. And I think many of you in the community are certainly a big part of that. So it's a reminder to me as well. And yes, maybe there's a little bit of magic that happens when I put the hat on. Uh, that's that's brilliant. So, Eric, to to end off, you know, is is there any? What would you like to share with with those watching now and those that'll watch this later about uh, you know turning I guess twenty twenty one and beyond into that uh, uh, that exponential year? Well, thank you. I, I think that you know, as we talked earlier on the call, it does start with you putting your oxygen mask on first, as we say, and really just getting your head straight. And, and I know that's sometimes really hard to do, and I struggle with that myself. And I think once you start there, you know, you can go from a 1X, 2X, and quickly go to a 510X, and as some US Navy SEALs will claim, a 20X, right? So thinking about the world and you and everybody in it differently with peace and love and everything that we all want you know, as Gandhi says, right, be the change you want to see in the world. And if you believe it starts with you, then that's where it needs to go. And from there, it's only going to grow and get better. And to really just kind of keep your head straight, as I mentioned, to try to have a little bit more positivity and, you know, get the help you need. But, you know, join the community because there are a lot of us doing a lot of good things and there's plenty for everybody. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Well, Eric, it's always a pleasure chatting to you. I lucky enough to to get to see you pretty much every week in in either one or two Zoom calls. Um, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks very much, Kevin. Cheers. Cheers. So that was uh, Eric Patel, an amazing community member based out of Boston, and. It's, it's always so inspiring to see what Eric is doing and how he has taken uh, being a member of our community as well as you know going through some of our certification programs and really just taking that to the next level, uh, helping 
others helping students, working with businesses, so, so, so inspirational. I'm going to end off today's call with a video from Yaroslav, who's our Chief Learning Officer, just talking a little bit about how you can learn a bit more about our consultant certification. We'll see you again next week. Uh, have a fantastic week. Do you want to play an active role in the largest business transformation in history? Hi, my name is Yaroslav and I'm the Chief Learning Officer at OpenEXO, a global community of consultants, coaches, entrepreneurs and thought leaders helping organizations all around the world to benefit from the disruptive changes happening in their industries. I am responsible for the design and delivery of a suite of training and certification programs that train over a thousand forward-looking business leaders and consultants every year. Our programs help you to understand and apply the hidden recipe behind some of the most innovative and most successful organizations that exist in the market today. I want to invite you to an introductory webinar about the EXO Consultant Certification Program. This program has been designed to teach the inner workings of exponential organizations and to give you an opportunity to apply the EXO model in real life assignments. During the webinar, you will learn more about the content and structure of the certification, as well as hear from past participants about the value they received out of the program. The future of business will be led by exponential organizations. We can already see this by the number of unicorn companies disrupting almost every industry, as well as by the thousands of existing organizations applying the EXO model every day. Businesses all around the world are looking to you to assist them in navigating the largest transformation of business to date. Join our webinar to unlock exponential growth opportunities for yourself and for your clients. I look forward to seeing you there.